It's just a fan fiction, a story written by me, a writer. This has nothing to do with mention ideal BTS members, real life event, behavior, character. Page sound videos which are used in this video are not mine. Where it goes to rightful owners, but the editing and the storyline is mine. Do not copy it. First half of this one shot is re-uploaded, but the rest of the story is new. So enjoy it. A woman in the mid 20s named Kim Wyan was looking at the mirror while doing her makeup. She had to go with her husband named Kim Kyung, who was in his early 30s, to his parents' place for Thanksgiving party. She was a little nervous while doing her makeup as she had to face her mother-in-law today, who didn't like her even a bit. Vayan and Young met each other almost five years ago. She was doing a postgraduate in nursing back then. That time, he happened to go to hospital where she studied to see his friend who was admitted there. But he mistakenly went to the room where she was presenting her research paper to her professor. Their first meeting was chaotic because he accidentally disturbed the whole class. Little did he know, along with the class, he also disturbed his own feelings, fortunately hers too. Their eyes met each other and they both were attracted to each other on that first sight. A week after Mia came to hospital again, but neither his known one was admitted there nor he needed checkup. He went there to ask the girl out with whom he was attracted to. He wanted to know her, to go on a date with her, and if luck was on his side, to, to go on a date with her. He felt satisfied when his feelings and actions towards her were fully reciprocated by her. They started to go on dates, started to know each other's choices. Soon they fell in love. Her parents also liked him. After all, he was such a gentleman with a reputable family. His father also liked his son's choice of life, but his mother didn't like her. She was against her son dating a middle class family's daughter. She wanted to marry off her son to her friend's daughter who belonged to wealthy family like the youngs. She also wanted someone who was in their early 20s as her daughter-in-law, not someone like Vyan who had passed her mid-20s. But Thayang was no less than his mother in stubbornness. So at last he still married Vyan almost one year ago after dating her for almost more than three years. What are your intentions darling? Want to pacify your husband with your looks or what? Through the mirror, she looked at the source of the voice and found her husband, Taehyung, standing behind her while wearing a black blazer and trousers with white shirt. Cheesy much, huh? She rolled her eyes while her cheeks got adored with a faint pink hue. Only for you, darling. Only for you. He backhugged her who was busy wearing her long gold chain earring to match with her full sleeve e-line maroon dress. When she was done with wearing earrings, he picked the back of her neck as she was wearing her hairs in a messy bun. She took a last glance at herself, gazing at her no foundation makeup with bold maroon lips, mascara and blush. How much more time precious? At this speed, we would be reaching the venue when all the people would be leaving. Rather than dancing on the carpet, we would have to sweep it, honey. She just rolled her eyes at his overdramatic comment. 
drama king. It's not that late, okay? She replied, fixing her front hair. Done now. He smilingly asked her, who looked at her face through the mirror. Yes, finally. Let's go then. Why nodded and both headed towards their car parked outside. At the young's parents' place. As soon as they entered the party, the young's dad noticed them and came towards them smilingly. Welcome, my children, welcome. Both of them bowed at Mr. Kim. How are you, the young? And you, why? We are fine, Appa. I hope you are healthy. By God's grace, we are. But what took you so long? You should know the answer, Dad. After all, you were married to Mom for long years. These wives take too much time to get ready. Mr. Kim laughed, whereas Vyan playfully hit his arms. You should not say this much truth now. Anyways, Come, Taeyang, let me introduce you to some guests. And why and go to your mother-in-law. Her all friends were asking for you. Go, go. Mr. Kim smilingly told her, then took her towards Mrs. Kim and her circle. If he wasn't happy and busy talking to Taeyang, he would have noticed how Mrs. Kim's smiling face turned into disgust after seeing Vyan. Mrs. Kim's friends like Mrs. West, Mrs. Knight and many more then started to chat with Vyan after all she was the young's wife, Kim family's daughter-in-law. After a while, the party venue got filled with music and couples started to dance on the rhythm of the music. Vyan along with her friends saw the couples with a smile Vyan looked at her husband who was seconds ago looking at the couples on the dance floor but now gazed at her direction with a small smile on his face. She was about to go to him to drag him on the dance floor but someone interrupted her. Will you dance with me, sweetheart? She looked at the source of the voice and found Mr. Kang, Taeyang's mother's beloved cousin, standing in front of her while extending his hand towards her. As he asked her in front of so many people, she couldn't say no to him and went to him with the dance floor. After all, he is just a middle-aged man, grey-haired man, who didn't have any partner for today's party. What could go wrong with dancing with him? Just like other couples on the dance floor, Mr. Kang intervened his left hand with Vyan's right one and placed her hand on his shoulder. His right palm was on her waist. With the rhythm of the music, they started to dance slowly. You are really like a doll. Beautiful. Vyan accurately smiled at his sudden compliment. Thank you. She then felt him tightening his grip on her waist, but she struck it off, thinking he was way too older than her to have any perverted thoughts. But then she felt him sliding his palm lower, lower, almost like feeling her. Then the next moment she felt him place his palm right above the tip of her lower back. She got frozen for a moment. Mr. Kang took his lips near her ears and said huskily, Thayang must be spending colorful nights. 
But if you give me a chance, I will make your nights more colorful. Vine froze on hearing his words. She saw red that time. She immediately freed herself from his grip, which surely made him unerring. Then the next moment, he felt a stinging sensation on his left cheek. Why wouldn't he? After all, Vine had him right on his left cheek. A short gap slipped everyone's mouth, whereas the music stopped. After all, the daughter-in-law of the house had just her mother-in-law's cousin. How dare you! He stated in rage, whereas the young Mr. Kim came towards Vine in concern, and Mrs. Kim towards her cousin. What happened, Vine? Kang, what happened, Vine? Vine could hear both Thayang and Mr. Kim's concerned felt voice. Tears pulled in her eyes as she remembered Mr. Kang's dirty talks and the way he touched her wrongly. Are you out of your mind, Vine? Why did you raise your hand on my cousin? Mrs. Kim's furious voice resonated the venue. He he deserved it. He touched me wrongly. Her husband and her father-in-law's eyes widened hearing her. Thayang immediately went towards Mr. Kang as his first reaction was to that man. How dare you! Don't get Thayang. Stop it, Thayang. How come you know she is stating the truth? She could be lying too. Thayang detached himself from Mr. Kang and furiously looked at his mother. How could you think Vyan would lie now, mom? Do you think my wife that cheap, mom? Mrs. Kim looked away from her son's heated gaze. Maybe she misunderstood him. Don't judge blindly on your liking, mom. This girl is lying. There, there are CCTV cameras everywhere. You can check the footage. He touched me wrongly. He. Yes, we should check it. Everyone agreed on Mr. Kim's words. Thayang then held Vyan while previously gazing at Mr. Kang. At the end, Vyan's words were proven right, and Mrs. Kim herself handed over Mr. Kim to law to decide his punishment. Sometimes later, at Thayang and Vyan's house. Vyan was sitting on Thayang's lap while hugging him tightly. Her tears were soaking his shirt while he was patting her back to calm her down. They had reached their home a couple of hours ago. Even she had showered while scrubbing her whole self furiously with her trembling hands, despite him telling to go easy on her because she felt dirty due to that old man's forceful touch. How long are you going to cry, Vyan? You are going to get sick like this. I I can't seem to stop there. Whenever I am closing my eyes, I am seeing his face in front of me, his hands on me. He tightened his grip on her, understanding her agony. How could he, Thayang? How could he? He is so much older than me. Maybe even older than my father. He felt more tears dropping on him, and he cursed under his breath numerous times. He kept patting her back. Oh, honey. Do you know how proud I am that you didn't cower away? You stood up for yourself, honey. I'm so proud of you. But but I ruined the party. Oh no, honey, you didn't. It was him whose evil intentions ruined the party. But your mom, she said, don't take her words seriously, Vyan. She just blabbered nonsense because she couldn't believe her beloved cousin. 
could do something this nasty it was just her first reaction to defend him but later later when the whole matter sank in to her mind did she say anything against you he looked at her who shook her head as no right she didn't say anything you know why because she understood she was trying to defend the wrong person She understood he were getting and honestly why I I can't blame her because more than almost 70% cases against men are false cases So she felt that way plus her not liking you also added fuel to her thoughts of her cousin being innocent I I am not advocating her vain. I am just finding practical reasons behind her first thoughts of you being the culprit and her cousin being the innocent victim. But but you did believe immediately that I was stating the truth. You didn't have to see any CCTV footage to believe that he he was touching me wrongly. Because my love I have known you from years I have seen you closely understood you closely enough to comprehend you are not one of those women who falsely accused men of for their own benefits I knew if you were to accuse anyone of touching you wrongly or even me without your permission then it would be all genuine you won't ever misuse laws which were made to protect women Surely there are women who misuse laws which were made to protect women because of them people hesitate to help genuine women who were getting everything But I knew you can never be one of those nasty women. I trusted you, Vine. I trust you. He then cupped her right cheek and kissed it. She too leaned on his touch, finding the familiar comfort. I'm sorry, my love. She got alerted, hearing him apologize. I'm sorry that I took you to a place where you had to get. I'm sorry that. You don't need to say sorry for anything my love you didn't do anything wrong neither did you nor i imagine this kind of incident would happen If you know this then why are you still upset about it why are you blaming yourself for that incident why are you even blaming yourself for ruining an insignificant party which absolutely wasn't your fault I I just feel dirty thing his touch his words tears again escaped her eyes whereas he pulled her in his embrace he hugged her tightly My love don't feel this way just because someone tried to touch you wrongly it doesn't mean you became dirty A holy water doesn't become unholy because a sinner touched it. So don't ever think negative of yourself. You are as pure as fire as sacred as holy vows. She nodded whereas he picked her cheeks, forehead, her eyes. Then he After all he understood that time more than words she needed his affection his physical affection towards her to help her forget that ugly incident No he didn't got intimate with her that moment or that night he simply showed her his affection by caressing her every place he could At that moment he felt that was the only right thing to do